Welcome back to Lesson 11. This is Intro to MIDI, the Magical Music Helper. In Lesson 10, you learned about vocal doubling and how it can be used to add depth and dimension to things like voiceovers for TV and radio commercials, lead vocals in pop music and in rap music. In Lesson 11, we enter the exciting world of MIDI. Musical Instrument Digital Interface is what it stands for, but nobody will ever ask you. You can use it to quickly add virtual instruments to your music and songs. It's especially helpful with drums. You can change what instrument is played by the same MIDI track, just change out the instrument, which is awesome. And you can easily edit musical performances. MIDI is a huge topic, and these are just a few of the things you can do. So we'll just hit the highlights. Remember, this is intro to MIDI. Let's start with a sort of unusual definition of MIDI, but one I think you'll find really useful. MIDI is modern player piano music, but for computers and for more instruments than just pianos. A MIDI file is really just a bunch of on and off commands in computer ease. If you've ever downloaded a MIDI file or clicked on one on the web, you probably heard music. But a MIDI file is not an audio file like an MP3 or a WAV, which is why MIDI files are so small in size. When you heard music, that was coming from your computer's sound card, which was being controlled by the MIDI file which told your sound card what instrument and what notes to play, and a bunch of other information as well. You probably also noticed that the music sounded pretty cheesy and computery. Well, that's because the instruments built into sound cards are typically really cheap and, well, cheesy. But in Reaper, one of the major large differences from Audacity, you can create, edit, and play MIDI files. And you can have them play virtual instruments that you download and or purchase that sound much, much better than the ones on your sound card. Here's an example of a song I recorded almost entirely with virtual instruments controlled by MIDI files. The only real instruments were the voices and the bass. This also gives me an opportunity to show you another cool way to get an already recorded audio file into Reaper. If you just open Windows Explorer, and find the audio file you want. This is the one I want. If you just click on it and drag it into Reaper and drop it, it not only brings the audio in, but it creates a track for you. And it uses the name of the file as the label for the track automatically, which is pretty darn cool. Anyway, this song is a cover I did of the song from Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog, again, called My Eyes. I'll play a little of it for you now. Keep in mind that only the singing and the bass are real. Everything else is a virtual instrument being controlled by MIDI files that I created. Take a listen. Sit ground and you believe there's good in everybody's heart. Keep it safe and sound. With hope you can do your part to turn a life around. I cannot believe my Okay, you get the idea. Let's dive right in and create our own MIDI track. First thing, let's just double click to create a track. And now let's go up to our menus and choose insert. And we're gonna choose new MIDI item. And let's uh, zoom in to see that. Now we have a MIDI item on our track. If you hit play, you'll notice that nothing happens because there's nothing in the MIDI item yet. But we can fix that. If you just double click on the item, it will open the MIDI editor, which looks like this. And it has this handy piano roll over here as well. If I click on that though, nothing's gonna happen because there aren't any instruments loaded up yet. So let's just go ahead and put some notes in there so it's not a totally empty file. And the way you do this is very simple. You see this pencil right here? Just click, I'm gonna click on this C note, but you can choose any note you want. C note, haha. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna drag that all the way across to there and then I'll come up and put another note here 
and I will put another note here. Yeah, okay, you get the idea, right? I'll just finish it off by using that. Okay, so if I rewind, you can see down here there's transport controls, just like in the main Reaper window. Click on play, though. Still, you don't hear anything because, like I said, there's no instrument attached. Well, we're going to fix that, too. First, let's go ahead and close the MIDI window. Just click X right here. And the first thing to notice is how different this file looks from an audio file. It's just going to be a bunch of straight lines that correspond to notes in the MIDI item. The way you add an instrument is you click on this FX button here. And we're going to add an instrument that actually comes with Reaper. So let's click on Instruments. And you should have this instrument here, VSTI, which stands for VST Instrument, Resynth. So double click on that and just click the X button. And now let's see if it makes any noise. Now it's making some noise because it's playing the synthesizer, the Resynth, that comes with Reaper. You can change the sounds in this by playing with these. Um, let's play with that just a little bit. First, let's set this MIDI part here that we created to loop over and over again. And come into the effects and play with these while it's looping so that you can hear what the different changes sound like. So hit the space bar to start it playing. And let's try moving square mix up. And you can play with these to get all different kinds of sounds. But of course, that's a very specific kind of a sound, a very you know synthesizer, computery sound. What if we don't want that sound? What if we want it to be a piano instead? Well, Reaper doesn't come with a piano, but there is a free piano that you can download. Just go to this URL and download the free Forefront Piano. If you have a Windows machine, use this one and this one for the Mac. Once you download it, unzip it, and you will be presented with a .dll file. All you have to do is save that in any folder on your computer and just remember where you've saved it. Then come back to Reaper, go to Options, Preferences, go to Plugins and VST, and you'll see that it has a list of places to scan looking for VST plugins or VST eyes. All you have to do is click the Add button, navigate to wherever you saved your .dll for the Forefront Piano, and click OK. Then, since Reaper hasn't already scanned that, you can just click Rescan, click OK, and when you come into FX up here and you click Add, you should see VSTI Forefront Piano Module like this. So let's choose that and let's click on the Resynth and remove it and close. And now let's listen to our file. See, it's the exact same notes, the exact same MIDI file, and all we did was switch out the instrument. You can do this with any kind of instrument. It might sound a little funky to go from a piano part to have that played on, say, a trumpet sound, but that's one of the cool things you can do with MIDI. Now let's go in real quick just to show you how easily you can edit this. You can add notes, so if you wanted this to be a harmony, you could uh, put some harmony notes. This is going to sound pretty awful, <laughs> I think, but uh, anyway. Um, pretty avant-garde, I guess, right? Or you could, uh, if you hit a wrong note while you're playing something, just drag it. See how easy it is to fix a wrong note? That's just the first installment of Intro to MIDI. There's a part two to this lesson, but remember, this was Intro to MIDI. Eventually, I'll add more and more videos on MIDI so you get a better feel for it and what you can do with it. But for now, Hopefully you know what MIDI is and have a basic idea what it can do. Come on back for part two, and we'll get into a few more really cool things you can do with MIDI, including drums. See you then.